Rainy winter has led to plenty of mosquitoes, and now some have tested positive for West Nile virus in the San Gabriel Valley. Mosquito samples were collected from traps in Frank Benelli Park in San Dimas. CBS 2's Tina Patel is there live with important information to protect yourself. Tina? Well, they are handing out these brochures at the entrances to the park so visitors know exactly what West Nile is and how they can protect themselves. Uh, right here. Hello. Right on my um, right foot. Samir Sharistan had a bad reaction to a mosquito bite before and had to be treated by a doctor. So when he sees the warnings about mosquitoes with West Nile virus being found at Benelli Park, he pays attention. Of course, I have to take some precaution, but nothing, nothing over the limit. The San Gabriel Valley Mosquito and Vector Control District says the mosquitoes found in the traps at Benelli Park last week are the first to test positive for West Nile this year. But they know it's just a matter of time before the virus spreads. The mosquitoes need stagnant water to lay their eggs and develop. And because of the rain, there's been no shortage of that. And add the warm weather to the equation and you have a perfect environment for mosquitoes to grow. Last year, 442 people in California became infected with West Nile and 19 people died from the disease. Older people and those with compromised immune systems are especially at risk, but they can lessen their exposure by wearing insect repellent and staying indoors at dawn and dusk when mosquitoes are more active. Getting rid of stagnant water around your home where mosquitoes can breed is also key. The mosquito control and mosquito population reduction is a shared responsibility, so if everyone can help us by making sure that mosquitoes aren't growing in their yards, that will really help bring the overall population down. Park visitors say they don't like hearing that West Nile is back, but they're not going to worry too much. I think the park has everything under control. I think they are aware of absolutely everything that's going on, and it's a very well organized and taken care of park. If you're going to change your lifestyle because of everything that happened in life, you're just going to stay in your house, in your room all day. So just go enjoy life, deal with it when it happens. Now, health officials tell us that 80% of people who are bitten by an infected mosquito never get sick, never show any symptoms. They say the ones who do get sick, most of them just have mild symptoms, something like a fever or body aches. They say very similar to the flu. We'll send it back to you in the studio. All right, thank you.